I was going anywhere, I was running. <laughs> <laughs> we're just coming up on the anchor and we're going to sail out of the anchorage. All hands on deck. Lenny is cactus. <laughs> Nearly arrived to this island and it looks gorgeous. Like a long white sandy beach. I'm Elena and this is Riley. And this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last five years and have recently found ourselves with a stowaway. Meet Lenny. Subscribe and welcome aboard. When I heard you calling, I was. When I heard you calling, I was. Good morning, you guys. So, we are here in Abaco Islands taking shelter from some crazy wind, but. Um, it's pretty much dying off now. We're gonna leave tomorrow. In the meantime, uh, we just met a dude called Chuck. He came over to our boat and he said that there are some like epic mangroves over here where there's just like, it's a nursery. There's baby sharks and baby turtles and you just cruise along in the dinghy apparently and it's just like animals galore. So we're gonna jump in the dinghy. Now that Lenny stopped crying, <laughs> we're just putting some sunscreen on him and we're gonna be on our way. Bit of stuff on your beak. It's a good game, isn't it? <laughs> hey, little Rennie! I see winter every morning I see the fall when I shoot off to bed I hear the blues without warning Like a train full of moving men it might seem so silly. This is risky business standing up here <laughs> because if Riley hits the bottom, which is quite likely, I'm just gonna go falling forwards. This is amazing. What's happened? We're running aground. At a very slow pace, and as we suspected. Lenny is cactus. <laughs> Down below the Celtic twilight, I light the fire. It burns so bright. Don't. We're going in the water. How's that, Lenny? What do you think about that? Mm. Pretty good fun. You like it? We're so hungry, we're kind of just eating dinner as it's being made. <laughs> what podcast are we listening to, Ralph? Sam Harris and Daniel Kahneman. Daniel Kahneman's book, Thinking Fast and Slow, I thought was the most incredible thing. Difficult to get through, but something that everyone should read. When you make it easy to do the right oh my thing, God, go away. <laughs> to do it Are you having a bath, little man? <laughs> you look very cute. Say hi. <laughs> All right, mate. You ready? We've got we to be, have new shirts, everyone. We've got to be quick because Lenny's asleep. Just a quick interruption. We wanted to show you our new shirts. Riley worked with someone to design them. We got them. We just received them in the mail. I spent forever trying to get there. I had this idea for ages, and it's final. I've been working like to wall. I've got them exactly how I want now, so I'm. Wrapped We'd really love to wear them to the Annapolis Boat Show. It'd be so cool to see you guys rocking. wearing them. <laughs> We're really happy with them. Comes in a few different colours. Bloody hell, no Sam's are out. <laughs> Grub shirt, guys. We'd really appreciate it. Um, yeah. I woke up to Raleigh hoisting the mainsail. We're just coming up on the anchor and we're going to sail out of the anchorage. All hands on deck. Say good morning, world. 
Such a beautiful start to the day. You should probably get out of my nighty. Some of these sailors are gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I have two extremely happy boys on board right now. Riley is like stoked with the sailing conditions. We were going eight knots before in 11 knots of wind, just flying along. And the best part is the dead flat water. There are no waves, so it's just like, you're like in the water. It feels really good. And of course, Lenny is very happy too, aren't you, baby boy? <laughs> Today, we are heading up and over over to one of these islands I need to confirm with Riley but we're going to be staying somewhere around here don't know how I feel about pink sunscreen lips looks a little bit weird <laughs> I had that sunscreen on my lips the pink stuff what do you reckon it looks like you put makeup on yeah I know for the first time ever. damn it tastes amazing. Riley's run up to the toilet and left me in charge sailing for a second and it's bloody freezing. <laughs> Didn't have time to grab a jacket. Oh thank god, I'm freezing my butt off. You're right. <laughs> that wind is icy. Lenny's been very hands on today so we haven't done much filming. We've nearly arrived to this island and it looks gorgeous. Like a long white sandy beach. By the way, you guys, I put these handles down because he likes to play with them and it buys me at least an extra 30 seconds. <laughs> are you a bit tangled? You want to go out in the wind? All right, you ask for it. Sandbar. That's gotta be shallow as. When's low tide? Oh, so the sandbar won't pop out. You can almost walk on it. So I just fried up some Virgo sausages, cauliflower, some brown rice from the other night, spinach, and uh, soy sauce. It's not my finest work, but considering the ingredients we have left on board right now. Considering the ingredients, you've done a fantastic job. We well. just ran out of coffee, so we're on the green teas. Uh, there's not much else on the boat. That's where my years as a bachelor hold me in good stead. <laughs> and really uh, pull together a meal out of nothing. Riley and I really like to use things on the boat. Like we, used to, we don't like to waste anything. So now we're drinking the green tea that's been sitting there forever. Yeah. In large yeah. quantities. <laughs> Making our way for the through caffeine some, hit. some cans of stuff from Europe. Yeah, exactly. And alcohol, we've got no alcohol. I can get by on uh, rice, water and soy sauce for, God, I'd say months. Throw in a hogfish every now and then and uh, you'll be fine. other side this side of the reef it was pretty rough but I've got a couple of little 
hogfish in a Trying to make a bread one handed and it's proving to be quite difficult. So Riley went spear fishing while I made a bread <laughs> whilst holding Lenny. That was really funny. The whole time he was spear fishing, I was just like gathering the ingredients and trying to pull this bread together. Three more boats have just rocked up to our anchorage and we're thinking, no, like don't come here because it's super rolly right now. It's supposed to be calming down tonight though, but it's not the most pleasurable anchorage. Yeah, like it's rolly on our boat, it's definitely gonna be rolly on their boats. Like, yeah, I remember on the old Beneteau, like once it picks up a rock, even the tiniest bit of swell, it's like, did big one, smaller. And then another big set comes. This is what the water does in the sink when it's rolly like this. And sometimes it's really gross because it'll like splash up at your face. <laughs> Cream of tomato soup for dinner with hopefully some fresh bread. So what I do with the cream of tomato, and I am no chef, please. Like it's funny, people are like, oh Elena, I want more recipes. <laughs> like my cooking is kind of like this. Sometimes may be good, sometimes may be shit. I like to uh, cook simply and um, I repeat a lot of meals. But anyway, I found a love for this cream of tomato soup, which I made up. Bunch of tomatoes, celery, onion, garlic and I uh, boil that up with some dried oregano and then I put a bit of coconut milk in there and salt yeah, to taste yeah. and it's super easy and quick. You sound like Tim the Tall Man Taylor. <laughs> You've still never made anything that compares to the pie flutter. <laughs> I actually and really love the pie flutter. that is a scientific fact. Oh, I would kill for a pie flutter right now. Oh, I bet you would. <laughs> too happy with that. I just cut that one open to check. It looks pretty good. I wonder if we mentioned it in another video, but I've really enjoyed not starting the engine. So just hoisting the main when we're on anchor, then lifting the anchor, then spinning around and sailing off, um, which you can't always do. Like if you've got somewhere to be uh, and it's gonna be the difference between getting there or not, then you can't do it. But because all the, because a lot of our anchorages are quite close and all in a row here, unless we're having to worry about tides, which which I haven't had to lately, um, we've got quite a bit of time, and certainly time enough to play around with mm, we have the, engine the sneaky sailing stuff, which is, it's really cool. Oh, Lenny Boo, come here. You get a bit of street cred when you roll into an anchorage like that. Yeah. I'm not kidding, Riley's one of those people that if you bake a fresh bread or you cook up a whole heap of pasta, he's going to eat the whole thing before he goes to sleep. So he just threatened to I'm eat. Right here. He just threatened to I'm eat the about other. This if I'm, not here. I'm allowed to, I'm talking to these guys. Rented. He just threatened to eat the other loaf of bread and so I had to hide it. And I'll show you where I hit it, but I'm not going to show him. I'll just watch the camera. No. <laughs> oh, then I'll hide the camera. <laughs> <laughs> when you walked into the room, I couldn't keep my eyes off of you. This is gorgeous. <laughs> this beach? Yeah. Nice, huh? Lenny just runs on the spot all the time. If I was going anywhere, I was running. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week for our zippy sail over to Spanish Wells, a quaint little marina where we drop the trash and wash our clothes. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new.